Hi guys, bit of a stormy wet day out there today. So we're not going out to fly drones or even take the cars out. We're going to stay indoors and try and catch up on some old projects. Uh, probably do this one. It's a rubber band powered car that I'm going to convert to spring power. I'm going to use this leftover Christmas stock from Poundland, cost me 25 pence I think, either 25 or 50 pence, I think it's 25. I'm going to use the spring power to drive the car forwards. So I'll modify that. Uh, I'm also going to do something about making myself a little bracket so I can use the waterproof case on that camera and mount it on one of these little Poundland tripods. Which, funnily enough, I went to buy some more today and they didn't have any in, in stock. And yet they've had them in stock for years. Always the way when you suddenly want one. Uh, what else are we going to do? Oh, I did find down here that little electronic kit that I bought from eBay last year and then decided I would do it one dark evening and couldn't find it. And when I've been looking for other stuff, I found it. So that's another little project I'll do. Anyway, enough waffling. We'll get on and do a modification to this. So very simply, this is a springy bit of metal. It's designed to hang over your door and then you hang your Christmas festive wreath on the hook there. And all I'm going to do is figure out a way of attaching it to the front of the car here. So we can then use this the springy effect to power the car. I'll put a link in the video description to the actual build for this. I mean, it's just a flat piece of plywood that I've used. I'd normally use cardboard but this was supposed to carry a weight so I've strengthened it with cross members so it could carry the weight. Also it's using a metal front axle so it doesn't bend with the stress of the rubber band but other than that it's just a standard flat plate rubber band powered car bamboo uh, cane or barbecue skewer for the front axle a couple of bottle caps hot glue to the center of the CD for the hubs uh, plastic drinking straw for the front axle tube it just happens that I use metal tubes for the back axle tubes, again to take the extra weight that this was designed for. But because it's all nicely ready made, I'm just going to modify it to do this. And looking at this, I reckon I can get that in behind there, like that. And then if I just drill a few holes there to make a slot, I can push that straight up through and then figure out some way of stopping it springing out again. And then with a bit of kite string without the rubber band on it. And have that like that. That will be our um, power source. So I'll mark that out and drill some holes through. Right, I've drilled a row of holes there. I'll just join them together with the knife and we'll have a slot. I'm trying to get this done before it gets dark so we can do it in natural lighting. we're still 
in, in January, so it's still quite dark quite quickly. I right, might have to put something on there to hold it in place. What I had before was that piece of bamboo skewer going through there with a rubber band to hook onto. But I reckon if I drill a couple more holes, I can push that through higher up and that will stop, stop that slipping out. So I'll do that. With a bit of luck we can use that same bit of string that I had on the rubber band. It's just a piece of kite string. So if we just open that out again. Hook it over there. Might need to put a bit of tape on it to stop it sliding down. Hook that over that hook. Wind it up like that and then let it go. Looks like it'll work, doesn't it? So we'll set it up on the floor. I will just put a bit of tape on it to stop it sliding off because it actually came off the end um, and it got to the end of its throw. Just a little bit. Just to hold it in place so it doesn't slide off. You might be able to hear it's just starting to rain outside again, which is why we're indoors, not outdoors. Okay, I'll have to chase the car with the camera. Are we ready? Full distance, no trouble at all. In fact, we could probably have used a longer bit of cotton and got it to run even further. Just see if we can go back the other way. That's all that bit of tape's on there for, just to stop that flying off when it got to the end. Like I said, check the video description, there'll be a link to the build for this car. But all I'm really interested in here is the spring effect, not the build. So let's see if we can start right back there. And then it free wheels into the Hummer. <laughs> yeah, job done. That was simple. Obviously the full build would take a bit longer, but I just wanted to check whether we could actually use that as a spring, a flat plate metal spring, or whatever you call it. And it works. That'll do. Job done. I don't remember whether I showed you that little peg that I put on there. I talked about it, but I may not have shown it. So that's just to stop the spring springing out. If you wanted much more power, you could use something like a steel ruler. That's a much stronger metal, but that was plenty to go up and down my kitchen. That was about eight meters we did there with no trouble at all. Talking about steel rulers, 
I picked this one up in Poundland a little while back. That's a 60 centimeter steel ruler and that's a nice springy metal that you could probably use to do the same thing. So that's an alternative idea. It is pretty thin but it is springy so yeah that would probably do the same job. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.